I'm going to show you a tool that you can use to do screencasts for your students where you are able to use your iPad as basically a stylus um, and you could write on it, but what you write on it gets recorded on your screen. So we're going to use a tool called jamboard.google.com and it's free. It's part of Google. So you will just go to jamboard.google.com and I have a bunch of boards up here, but I'm going to create a new board down at the bottom called New Jam. Now when it opens, you can see that I have this blank white background. You can choose different backgrounds. Maybe, for example, you might want to use graph paper. So you can choose graph paper. I'm just going to leave it as the blank white one right now. And over on the left, you can see that I have a pen tool, eraser tool. I can add sticky notes. I can add images, or I could use a laser like it's a laser pointer when I'm explaining things. Now, I need to take things that I want to put on the screen. So let's say that I had a worksheet with math problems, or I had some sort of equation written somewhere on a lab document. Um, if I had smart notebook files and I had different pages and I wanted to show how to write on them and kind of take notes, what I'm going to do is I actually over here, um, I just have a quick math page opened up that I found online. And what I would recommend doing is taking a screenshot. And all computers have screenshot capability where you can do screen captures, um, PCs and Macs. I have a specific program that I like to use called Snagit. And so what I'm going to do is just take a screen capture of the part that I want to be on the first like page. And so I just screenshotted it right here. And I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to save it as, and I'm going to give it a title like Math 1. And I'm going to make sure I save it as an image, like a PNG file, a JPEG file, etc. Now this is saved into my downloads. I'm going to take as many pictures as I want from whatever I need. And then I'm going to go back to the Jamboard. So I'm going to click on the image icon and I'm going to upload a file. And so here was Math 1. And I'm just going to make it big. I want it to fill the screen. Okay, now I might have multiple pages or multiple problems that I want to do as part of my video. So I'm going to click over here up at the top. This is where you can see your different frames, which are basically different pages. So I'm going to click on the arrow to go to my, my next frame. And I'm going to add another image. And this would be, let's say, my second one, Math 2. And once it opens, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. Now, when you are ready to actually create your screencast for your students, you're going to turn on your screencasting tool, which might be loom.com or Screencastify, and it's going to record your screen on your computer right here. Now, I had mentioned that I wanted to use my iPad as kind of a tablet to be able to write because it's easier to write using like your iPad with an Apple Pencil or some sort of stylus. So I have downloaded on my iPad my um, the Jamboard app, and it's a free app to download. And I'm just going to log in and um, right now it just shows my previous ones. I don't know if you can really see the screen very well with glare and all that, but I don't see the Jamboard that I just created. So I'm just going to pull down a little bit and let it load and you can see the new Jamboard file just opened up. So I'm going to open it on my computer, or sorry, on my iPad. And what I see on my iPad is basically the same thing that you see on my screen right now if you can't see my iPad that I was just trying to show you. And I'm going to use the pen tool, which you can see there was a pen tool over here. I have that same pen tool on my iPad. So now that you're ready to present, you're going to press like record on your screencast. 
Then I'm going to use my stylus, my Apple Pencil, and I'm going to click on the pen tool. I can choose a color of a pen that I want. I chose kind of a turquoise teal color. And now I'm going to start writing. And so I'm recording. You can hear me talking. I could be explaining what I'm doing. But I'm going to go ahead and write on my iPad screen. So 99, the two factors, I know that 11 and 9 go into it. So I'm going to write down 11 and 9. And you can see that as I'm writing on my iPad, it writes live on the screen. And when it writes live on the screen, that's what you're recording. And so then I can put in the rest of my answers, fill out my prime factors. I hope I'm doing this right, because it's been a long time since I've done this math. Um, but now I can fill out this page. I can write notes. I can... Um, click on the next frame to go to the next frame on my iPad. I also would need to do that up at the top of the computer screen just to make sure that your students are seeing it live as you are recording. And so you can write all over the screen. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lag. Um, you just kind of have to be aware as you're doing it and watching as you're going. But it's a great free tool to be able to write on your iPad and then have it um, screencasted using a free tool like Loom.com, which is a great screencasting tool.